Welcome back guys to Final Fantasy 15 where we're in places and times unknown as a new Noctis stands before us with many revelations having been given to us at the end of last episode including the fact that the power to wipe out Arden, a seemingly host of demons that can cleanse the world maybe by his reckoning but other than that, looks like to be full of demons himself and the manifestation of evil trying to bring the current world down. Requiring our life to do. As we step out. What is this world? As Umbra awaits for us. Umbra. Be waiting in Hammerhead. The Chosen King's Calling. As do we now have the power? Well, kind of expected a chapter end at that point in time. As so much went on. That's for sure, but not a single image of Ravis to take with us into our next chapter chapter 14 the homecoming Noxus leaves his prison to find himself on Angel Guard Angel Guard his father's ship is moored at shore none the worse for wear it now carries him back to Golden Key back to his kingdom and what will be waiting for us when we get there And so we enter a world of ruin. <sighs> Where'd everybody go? I say it's been a little while due to hair growth and facial changes, that's for sure. Well then, Umbra, it's me and you. Demons everywhere. Well, these are the questions. They're not exactly strong ones, that's for sure, but they're just running past me. After all, we can take them out with no problem whatsoever. I did not expect to get hit there. But the key itself... It does seem like it, doesn't it? And it looks to me like maybe the people here have become demons too. These imps probably being the people that were here before. You just never know. Tomberries? Please don't bear a grudge. This could be the dangerous. You want to get stuck by their knife after all. Petrified me? What? Well, this is the worst possible thing. It seems that they can easily take me out. Without any issue whatsoever, these Tombries are ridiculous. That spell is the main one. Essentially, it's best to just parry. If we can parry the spell and stop the petrification and get the multiple hits on in the meantime, we'll be fine. Tomberries are not what I wanted to see. In a way, they've been conspicuously absent. What really happened here? Things have moved around that weren't there before?
But you can just see the demons waiting to get out. What are you things? Well, fire's being launched to me from all over the place. Fighting on your own when you're the only target is never a fun thing. Finally, a parry. Essentially, I just need to be able to wail on these guys a little bit. Or fight them here. The one who's trying to parry me is not working that well. But there we go. We got a fair bit of damage for that attack. Man, these guys. That's one. Now we two. And once we can really go in. There we go. Proper dodging now. Essentially, I want to escape again. I don't move forward in case more demons appear. The Nagas now just appeared. A leech as well. Now we're just getting mute from a distance. Kind of didn't expect good times, that's for sure. Considering. Strength down. I move forward too much. That's our main issue. Someone's trying to grab me, and I didn't get to attack that leech while it was down. In fact, I'm looking the completely wrong way. If I can take out the people in this room, then that gives me a lot less worry, if you know what I mean. Right, we got one. Alright, so they're preparing to launch spells aplenty. Well, I got a fair bit of damage on there, but I need to retreat. We broke a bit of the Naga. It's a strong weapon against her. There we go. It's the other one I need to fight. Now we'll go with a strong weapon there as well. I think that's one leech down. Breaking you bit by bit wasn't too bad. And now we find skeletons galore. Well, it's an item to get if I can claim it. Right, these guys aren't too hard. Especially if I warp strike them to knock them down first. Phew. Well, making it through this terrain is not as easy as I would have thought. Your assistance would be very much wanted at this point, Umbra. Well, you've broke through at the very least. One elixir gained ourselves a fair bit else. Even the lady here has become a demon. The question is, which person represents which demon? Who are we killing? Because we know that's what we're doing. This is the opposite of everyone being okay. Right. Hobgoblins galore. That's the one I wanted to finish off. But it's not working out for me, is it? You can jump at me all you like. It's working really well. What's with that? There we go. That's what the kind of slash I wanted. One that pitches them all up. So I can definitely one-shot KO them with a big sword. Hammerhead is where we have to meet them. Well, first of all, we've got to make it through all this. Two iron giants. It's 
Too bad I can't make it inside. Be nice to grab a couple of items or so. Well, we know where we're supposed to make it to. The question is... Well, there's most of that one's HP down. Making it stumble a fair bit. Alright, that's one. So we've just got to literally make it across the road. Our fighting here probably isn't helping too much. There's a flaming iron giant over there. Flans, bombs, everything. So it's just a world full of demons now. My attack is so strong that it is enough. No car? No chocobo rental, was there? Please? Envy? I thought the rental point was somewhere just around here. So we gotta walk all the way. Well, we've made it out of Golden Key. Where else will that lead us to? Okay, a demon wall lies there. Can I make it round this? What am I supposed to be doing? I don't think in general I'm supposed to be fighting it. But say, can you do ranged attacks? I don't even dare. Obviously, I could whittle it down in time with Cerberus. But who knows what else it might pull out of his hat. What are those? Leeches everywhere? So, of course, it would be faster for me to take the countryside route. Necromancers. That is a great idea. Apart from the falling. I feel like I have somewhat unlimited stamina at this point. But that will cut my travel time a little bit. Now I'm not actually sure how to uh, film this in some senses, if you know what I mean. What is it, boy? Something's coming. Because the world is open, but what's here? truck stop for me please uh. yeah it's me uh, Talkit. my grandpa served the Amasidia family Talkit? yeah no way Yes, way. Welcome back, Your Majesty. Yes, sir. That's that's right. Huh? Uh, just a second. Um, said he wants to have a word with you. He can have it in person. He said you can have it in person. Okay. Uh, we should be there shortly, sir. I can't tell you how good it is to see you again. Yeah, you sure look different, though. You think so? Guess I've grown some these ten years. Ten years? <laughs> the guys must be pinching themselves right now. Where are they, anyway? Listalem, more often than not, but they take a lot of trips to Hammerhead. For? Uh, for Miss Cindy. You know, back at the garage. She's a tough one, but uh, when she needs a little extra muscle out on the road, she gives them a call. 
Huh. Oh, uh, speaking of which, the guys said they're near Hammerhead right now, so we'll be meeting them there. You know, ever since you disappeared, Your Majesty, it's been nothing but nighttime nonstop. Lestalem still has light thanks to the power plant, so just about everyone's taken refuge there. Only there? Everywhere else has been abandoned. Demons moved in, forcing the people to move out. People still swing by the garage at Hammerhead from time to time, but it usually isn't for repairs. These days it's less of a service station and more of a slayer station, a base for demon hunting. The garage is still open though, one of the few places that is. So, um, Sid, he's still alive and kicking. <laughs> he's kicking all right, just not as hard as before. He hasn't really been himself lately. At least, not since he moved out to Lestalem. Someone suggested he move the garage there, too. But old man Sid wasn't having it. He called it a big, fat, chocobo turd of an idea. Said it just wouldn't be the same anywhere else. That sounds like Sid, all right. Miss Cindy said she didn't mind either way. So the garage will probably stay put for a while. And without any tinkering to do, Ignis's gourmet seafood is about all Sid has left to look forward to. With all the demons prowling around, more folk were getting hurt. Or worse. So Iris talked the marshal into taking out the demons themselves. Iris the Demon Slayer, they call her. Gladio and the others, they lend him a hand whenever they can. Prompto spends most of his time hunting around Hammerhead. He tries to impress Miss Cindy, but she's already married to her work. And Ignis? He hunts too. We tried to stop him, but he wouldn't listen. He said, if anything, he's more used to the darkness than we are. Never got his vision back. I'm afraid not. But that being said, he gets by pretty well on his own. Gladio and Prompto usually hunt on their own as well. It isn't often you see the three of them together nowadays. They still work as a team every once in a while, but each has his own set of tasks to keep him busy. Is that so? Well, you'd expect something like this. You've arrived. Your Majesty, everyone will be so happy to see you. Don't worry, I won't be going anywhere. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to ask. So here we are. A whole new world. A world of Arden's revenge. You have to say for yourself after all this time. <laughs> Knocked! It's you! It's really Is you! It? I hadn't realized. Well, well. You kept us waiting. Not like I wanted to. We've got catching up to do. Let's head inside. So there they are, a little older. The final battle commence once we leave Hammerhead. Be sure to spare no preparation. Now is the time to get everything ready. Wonder what's gone on. As everyone sets back to the ways they were before, no problem. It seems Ignis isn't even using a cane anymore. So he may have got really used to it. Prompto's got a goey too. I'd say... Noxus's head is weirdly a little bit large for his body. Hey. But time to prepare, eh? Or weapons to buy if we didn't have an Ultima Blade. The Hyperion here is pretty good. You gotta admit. So weapons to buy for all the guys. We've got the gill, most likely. In fact, they probably don't make it too expensive for us at this point in time. Well, it's a lot to sort through. A lot See you later. to drink in. Our destination point seems to be over there. The inn as well to sit down and take a look around. 
and Telcot, now a fine young man. All I can say is join me next episode as we see ourselves a world of ruin. <laughs> How can it get any worse from here? We head towards the finale. Bye-bye.